past question on chemistry when it comes to what unit post posthumy examination, right? So, I want to focus on what chemistry question 20, 20, 24, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 5. So, if you are going to write the posthumy exam and you are going for any of the science related faculty, they want to stick to the end of this video because I want to revise some, some past questions on that chemistry that came out last year, right? So, look at what the first one is. that which of the following organic compound is an I, I organic chemistry question? Is an organic chemistry what question? So, now we look at the question here. That is why you do what know organic chemistry very well, understand organic chemistry very well. So, you have A, B, C, D. Now, whenever you say a question like this, therefore, look at the old one. Which one would not be because you say an I, I. Right? So let's look at what the various functional up here. If you look at this one here, this one is OH. OH is what is an acanon. Acanon. Right there. So whenever I say an OH is what is an acanon, so it is at. It's okay. Let, let's keep some first. Let's move over to this other one. Now here we have COH. Now when I say COOH is what is acanoic acid. Acanoic Acid. Just as well, it's an acanoic what acid, right? Yes, what O H A what C O O H. So these two are arts. They cannot be an idea. Now B and D are the possible are the possible what answers. Now why? Because when we talk about now we talk about idea ides, idea ides and Ketone. I the I and ketone have similar uh, functional group. It's called the carbonyl functional group. Carbonyl. It's called the carbonyl functional group, right? I the ketone have similar functional group. Now, but what is the difference? Now, if you look at an I the I, an I the I, an I the I with the words carbonyl functional group. Always have hydrogen attached to it. Just um, always have there's an hydrogen attached to a what to the carbonyl because two of them are uh, this one is called carbonyl, name is called carbonyl or carbonyl. Do you understand? Now, an IDI always have hydrogen attached to what to the carbonyl or carbonyl what functional group. Now, here we can have what how here. This how can be any archive. Can either be Thai, Ethai, Pikopa, and the rest. Just a, a key example is what CH3, CH2, C. It's okay. This is what is an IDI functional group. Just a, this is what is an IDI dot functional group. Now, what about ketone? Like when I told you, ketone and IDI have the same formula here. But in the ketone, but in the ketone, here we have this ketone. There is no hydrogen attached to the carbonyl. So we have two carbon. We, we have a two alkyl group. We have a two alkyl group. So here, here we have what ketone. So in an ID functional group, ID like ketone have two last functional group here, CO, right? But the IDI have hydrogen, the ketone do not have hydrogen. So example is here we have CH3, C, CH3. So how do you identify ketone and IDI? Two of them have what similar functional group, but IDI will have hydrogen attached to the carbon functional group here. But ketone will not have it. Just um so if you look at it very well, let me know what the, the option. If you look at what the option, let's see the one that is correct. If you look at this guy, let's go this structure out. This one is just CH3, C, CH3. Now, here we have the CH3 here. Now, whenever you see CH, C, so whenever you see CO, CO is still like this C. Do you understand? CO is what is C double bond oxygen. Is what is a carbonyl. Because that this one here, this carbon here have methyl and methyl, right? So this guy is what is a ketone. Here is what is a ketone functional group here. So the ketone here. If you look at this guy here, C H C O O H. If you look at if you look at this one here, C 
HO. It's this thing that will see double bond oxygen with an hydrogen. So when, when I see something like this, it's also the same thing with this guy here. Right? Then you have now about CH3. So here we have CH3, CH. So this one is what is an IDI. This one is an IDI. So B is the, so this is not the answer. So D is what is the answer. D is what is the answer. Now before I move forward here, yeah, if not that I've not gotten your past question, please try as well as possible to what get this past question. It's directly from the school. Contain about 20 years past question and contain the recent year. Contain math, chemistry, physics, biology, English language, and mathematics. Go get it here. The link to go get this past question will be at the description below or I'll pin it our at first comment section. It's, it's, it's very important to get the past question. And if you need private one on one teaching uh, to pay ahead of your possible exam, you can send me a message or WhatsApp. Please, it is not, it is not cheap. And it's also not cost like that. It's average, it's what you can easily what afford. Right? So if you know that you need a mass chemistry and physics, send me a message or WhatsApp and we'll discuss the price. Then you cannot start taking your class. So if you still have more questions to solve, let me go to question two. Now let's solve the, the second question here. Please pay, please pay close attention to those to, this this topic or uh this topic we are solving question under because these are type of these are topics you should watch which you will go and cover very well. Right? So look at what the first question let me what the second question here. What is the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfate ion? Right? This is called sulfate ion. They ask here what is the oxidation number, right? So now if you look at this one here, you have SO4 to minus. Now, you are calculating for your, for your X, right? The oxidation number of X. Now, what is the oxidation number of oxygen here? The oxidation number of oxygen here is what, is what? Minus 2, right? Now, so this is what we do here. It's going to be what? X times 1. How do I get the X? X, X is for, for what? Oxidation number for what? So for 1 is what? How many atoms of do I have here? One, right? So go to be x times one plus oxygen is what is minus two, minus two times what four, right? Now here we have iron here. Go to be what minus two. So the oxidation number of what of a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge of that ion. Just and so in the sense that we have what a polyatomic ion, like we have what an ion, a molecule. Molecule we work with an ion, right? The summation of, of, of the oxidation number of all, all the atoms here is equal to what to the ion itself. Just now, so that we have, here we have x times one plus minus two times four equals to this minus two here, right? So one times x is what is x plus now remember two times four is what is eight. So here we have minus one eight equals to minus two. Right? Plus times minus is what is minus. So you have x minus one eight equals one minus two. Right? So can you start to show that side here? What do you have here? So what do you have? x equals one minus two plus plus what eight? Right? Minus two plus eight is what is plus six. Plus what six? So the answer is what is what is what is c. Please pay close attention here. It means that you need to cover everything about redox reaction. What is redox reaction? How to identify oxidation and what reduction? How to identify oxidation and reducing agent? How to calculate what oxidation number? Just now, um, I've done a complete video on those ones here. If you join my private class, the link to those videos will be what sent to you once you join my private class. And more of this question like this that we would like setting in that what exam will also be sent to you. So we are done with the second word question. Like what I said, if you prepare for info posting exam and you don't write, I don't have your your past question here. You are wrong. Please go get the past question. A link to get the past question be in the description below. And you read about the past question. Mm -hmm. The faculty is, is available to, to write. And the bonus you are going to get after buying this past question. All the details are on the what on the description. All the details and the place where you go get what the past question. You can read it just now. It's going to be of great help to you. So let's look at what question three. Let's look at what question three. Question three. And this one is under gas laws. So it means that you need to see like certain question under gas laws. Right? So they say a gas occupies a volume of 10 liters at standard 
temperature and pressure. What volume will it occupy at 273, 273 degrees centigrade and 0 0.5 atm? Right now, let's solve this question here. So, we are, we are going to start from this point here. Is it okay? Let's we'll start from this point. So, now, by a gas applies a volume, they are going to be D1. Just going to be D1. So my D1, my first volume, the gas of fire is going to be 10 liter. And that's say what? At STP. Now what does STP do? Standard temperature and pressure. So the volume of fire, the gas of fire, the volume of what? 10 liter at, at what? At STP. That is my first temperature is what? Is 273 kV. Do you understand? But at STP, you have a temperature is 273. Just that my P is at 180 cm. Now, the same thing to understand here. When we talk about a standard temperature pressure, that is, when we talk about a standard temperature pressure, yeah, that is, my pressure is what is 273 kV. One. Then, my temperature is what is, sorry. Now let me explain something here. Now we talk about at STP. Now we talk about at STP at STP. What does it mean? Standard temperature and pressure. At standard temperature and pressure, yeah. My temperature is what is two seven three kV. That is it. Just that. The my 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 pressure is what is one eighty m or seven sixty millimeter watt mercury. So there are two things to put in your mind. Now, in case volume was not given to you, the volume will be what? 20. In case volume was not given to you, as time temperature and pressure, your volume is only 2 2.4 dmq or 2.4 watt liter. So you do have to into what take note of here. Just and um, but here they're giving volume here, not say at STP. That is volume, you already know, you know your volume, right? Then your T got to be what 273, then your pressure got to be what one, uh, one ATM, right? Now say what what volume will it occupy? What volume will it occupy? That is what is the second volume? That was V2. When the temperature is what 273, so my temperature here, which is T2, is what? 273 zero degrees centigrade here. Remember, in, in what? In chemistry, we are solving gas laws. You must only convert what? You must always convert what? You must always convert uh, degrees centigrade to what? To degrees centigrade. You must only convert what? Degrees centigrade here to what? KV. And if you are converting what? 273. Yeah, if you are converting what? If you are converting what? If you are converting what? Degrees centigrade to what? To KV. You know what? R was 273. So, here yeah, is giving you what in degree centigrade. But you know what? To, what to KV. I have to convert degree centigrade to KV here. Yeah. But I what? Plus 273. Right there. Yeah. 273 plus 273. Here we have 546. So, I what? 546 what? KV. Right? Then, my. My final, which was P2, final pressure, which got to be what? 0 0.5 watt ATM. It's okay. Now, here I have to use the general, no, the uh, general gas equation, which got to be what? P1, V1, or T1 equals what? P2, V2, or T2. Just and So, this is what I'm going to use here because it contains every single thing. Contain what? Pressure. Volume and temperature, so we have to use this one here. But what, what is the idea here? We are, we are going to make V to the surf, surf the formula here. If you have made V to the surf formula here, what, what are you going to get? I would get D2 equals what? The other option here. So you're going to be P1, V1. Then here we have times T2 over. 
right? So you have T1, then what? P2. So the idea is that it's what makes this guy the subject of formula here. So if you make sure you show the formula here, remember you want to multiply here, right? To get this one here. So what you want to do here is to impute your what your values. If you should put your values here, my P1 is what is 118. 1 times. My V1 is what is 10. 10 times. My T2 is, my way my T2, 5, 4, 6. 5, 4, 6 over. My T1 is what? 273. 273 times. My P2 is what? 0 0.5. It's okay. So what I want to do here is to use your calculator to get your answer. Let's see. So you have 1 times. So the answer is 40. So you have my V2 because what 40 liter. Just that. So that what am I submitting all this question to you? Like what, what am I submitting this question here? Or this past question is to tell you areas you need for life setting in that in that posthume exam. So if you are really going to if you really want to score very well, then all the all the topics, all the topics uh, I'm solving questions under in this video here, you should go and tackle them very well. That is why if you join my private on, online class here, you not you no longer stress yourself to follow this scenario you know, because I'm going to cover them for you. Do you understand? So I hope this video is helpful. Like when I said, I will keep on telling you this stuff here. Now go get the past question here, right? You cannot get if you don't know where to get the past question, you can just send me a message on WhatsApp or go to the description below. You see a link where you can go get this past question. If this video is helpful, please give it leave a comment that this video is helpful. We are not done yet. This is your question two. We still have one question four. We still have more question coming up. Question four. They say, what is the high pack, high pack name of the organic organic compound with structural formula? Look at the structural formula here. Now, if you like, I can answer this question here, you can just pause the video and is it option A, B, C, D? Let me know. Right? Now, this is what is a condensed formula here. Now, when you have something like this, it's called condensed formula. What you want to do here is to so write your to a fully displayed formula. So, therefore, let's just draw this structure, right? So, you have what? C, H, what? 3, right? Now, this cover atom is connected to this cover atom here. C. Now, this cover atom you are seeing here, right? It has what? Hydrogen. And what? And what? And chlorine, right? They have what? C, H, what? 3. Do you understand? So if you understand the mechanism very well, you find out this is very, very easy. Now, what is the parent name? How many carbatons do you have here? One, two, three. Right? So we're going to do a copain. Is what is copain, right? Chlorine is our carbon number two. One, two. Chlorine is carbon number two. So we're going to be two chloro copain. That is the answer. Two chloro what could be as, is as easy as that is not what is difficult, right? So it shows that you, you seem to what understand and master what make sure of the word organic compound that that what it means. So for this video, yeah, I will stop at this work, uh question about what for more of this kind of question will come your way, like this kind of video will come your way. So we pass question or mass function is based on watching for set, based on what on the board pass question. All this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please kindly give it a like and support the channel. You can support the channel by what like and subscribe and also commenting and sharing the video with your with your friends right mass and this video are also coming up right thanks for watching see you in my next video